hello everybody welcome back to my channel it's m um please when you finish watching the video please do subscribe uh ask your friends and relatives to subscribe i'm looking for more and more subscribers as i bring you these wonderful recipes today uh, in my channel my channel is it's m so today I'm going to do a salad. Uh, it's uh, have about um, uh, six ingredients. Uh, look at that. This is fennel fronds or leaves. So what I'm going to do with the fennel fronds or these leaves, these hairy like leaves, I'm going to uh, use them, uh, chop them off and chop them up and use them in my uh, salad so uh, firstly i'm going to wash the fennel so that i can use it so let's wash it under cold running water you know wash them thoroughly make sure the leaves are clean and then just wash them thoroughly make sure they are clean then i'll just you know chop off the, these fronts as they are called they are very good in salads so I'll chop them off uh, just chop them off so I'm going to chop off these fronts these are the ones I'm going to use for my salad they're very soft and tender really so they will make a good uh, salad so just chop them off or you can pluck them with your fingers so mm, smell nice so I've chopped them off so these are my hairy fronds which I'm going to use and even the little stalks I can include them in the salad so this is ready for chopping so I can just chop them now just chop them now Just chop them into tiny, tiny pieces. And the little stalks are very, very tender as well. So this is what you can do. Chop them off. So I've chopped them off. I come up with this excellent. Then I just tip it in the salad bowl. Then second, my second ingredients after the fennel uh, leaf, I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do the the green paper. So I have a beautiful green paper with me here. Look at this. So I just need a few rings of this green paper. So firstly, I'm going to wash it thoroughly under cold water. You know, wash it thoroughly in the cold water before I chop it. So I've washed it thoroughly. So what's next? Uh, I'm going to to chop it into some rings. So that's my green paper. So what I need is just I need a bit of let's say tiny tiny rings so i'll do about five tiny 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 rings so that i can include this in my salad look at that look at the tiny tiny rings and then as i said it's very lovely flavor tiny tiny rings so look at that to make a beautiful uh, arrangement of the salad it's really fresh and looking juicy and very very uh, crispy like i said i'm going to have about five of those uh, five of the uh, crunchy and look at the crunchiness they are really crunchy so i've done five of these rings 
five of these rings ready for my salad so i put this away so i've done the five rings look at that of of the uh, green pepper crispy green pepper so next i'm going to use celery as well this is celery look at that beautiful celery so i'm going to use um just uh, uh, this leaf and then i leave the other for the next recipe just these two will do so what i have to do is to wash wash this leaf these two leaves and the stalks and the leaves wash them properly make sure they are very very clean because sometimes uh, some bread uh, settles in the groove so i make sure i wash this my the celery really really clean so when i finish washing the next thing now is to chop the celery so i need to chop the celery look at that beautiful celery so i just go along the the middle cut some longitudinal slits do some longitudinal slits and i'm going to include the leaves as well the leaves will be there in the salad look at that tender and nice and really really looking good so quick chop quick chop of my of the celery chop the celery look at that i love the scent coming from this it's delicious mm, it's really and the leaves are uh, fresh and crunchy uh, the leaves and the stalks are fresh and crunchy look at that nice very very tender so and very very fresh mm, the scent is excellent you love it if you try it so this is ready now now the next thing i'm going to do Uh, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, the main dish, the main uh, um, the main ingredient. These are called baby plum tomatoes. Look at that. These are the baby plum potatoes. So I need to wash them as well. So I'll have about eight of them will be okay in this uh, recipe eight will do so these are the baby uh, plum tomatoes just wash them wash them squeeze them wash them so that they are really clean wash them under cold water cold water so that they are really clean now when they are ready you then chop them I'm going to chop the baby plum tomatoes. I'll chop them into halves. Because they are really uh, tender and they are really, really um, small. So I'll just need the halves of the baby, uh, of the baby tomato, plum tomato. So usually I tip off the ends. Just quickly give a tip off the ends tip of the end of the top of the baby plum tomato tip of the ends you know like this tip them off so come up with a lovely lovely you come up with the lovely uh, plum tomatoes then i need the halves so just do the halves quickly do the halves and um, tomatoes make the salad uh, so appetizing in that they will give a, a, a boost to the color and uh, it's so appetizing that you just want to eat this to have the salad you know that's why i love including the tomatoes in the salad so the tomatoes are ready and now i have the spring onion this is the leaves of the spring onion the funny thing about this is i've just grown them in the garden so i'm so excited you know that's the spring onion it will add again some flavor to the salad so i need to wash this as well so wash the spring onion 
so that's the spring onion so just chop the spring onion chopping the spring onion mm, very wonderful wonderful um say, uh, scent or oh, the smell of them is really really fresh and beautiful so they give a boost to the flavors of the salad that's why i love spring onion leaves they are really really good so when you done your spring onion leaves what's left now see is to arrange your is to give an arrangement to your to your salad so i've put the fennel in uh, the the celery leaves there in the center so i'll just mix with the fennel fronts just give a mix the fennel fronts and then uh, now everything will happen so i have the look at that i have the um green peppers line them right round line the five green peppers right round like this your celery and fennel are in the center uh, and then uh, when i finish this fennel and the and the uh, celery in the center then there comes my beautiful plum tomatoes just put them inside line them inside look at that Land them inside the green paper. Wow. And this lovely. Just line them inside the green papers. Yeah. You can put three or two, depending on whatever your choice is. You know. Or you can put all the eight. So I have lined the tomato. Then uh, you can put the other ones just around the edges to add more color and in the center as well just just uh, drop them there drop them in the center like that look at that wow and this beautiful look at that now to finish off my salad then comes the spring onion spring onion will go all over yeah i sprinkle the spring uh, the spring onion all over so there goes your spring onion all over your arrangement just sprinkle the spring onion and then last but not least when all this is done all my ingredients are together yeah, you can see, you can put a little bit of salt if you want because usually tomato goes very well with a bit of seasoning with salt. But if you just don't want to to add a lot of salt to your uh, delicious salad, then you can add uh, uh, virgin oil, olive virgin oil, or like my favorite is the lemon. I will finish. I always like to drizzle fresh lemon. That's my favorite. I don't know what your favorite drizzle is. I love the lemon and make sure I don't put the seeds in. So I'll drizzle with the lemon. I love this lemon flavor. So they will go hand in hand. Look at that. Look at this mesmerizing salad. I know you love this. Just give it a try. So please do continue to subscribe to my channel. Uh, my channel is It's M. And once again, thank you for the subscribers who continue to sub, uh, support me. I have a lot of subscribers, over 30 of them, which is really, really encouraging. So please do come back in my next video and watch with me the beautiful salads. So enjoy the uh, baby plum tomato, um, the green pepper, the fennel, the spring onion, and the celery salad. See you once again in my next video. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.